All right. So let's remember this problem. We have already done this. So if you try to recall, I had told you that in case the number type is not matching, we can use the value function. So just a quick recap, 140 is 67, 162 is a different data type. So if you notice, this is not equal to this 162. It is coming as a false. The reason is because here it is a text data type and on the left it is a number. How are we still getting the result? The reason is because we are using a value function. And the value function is a very simple function. It solves only one need, which is that it converts a number stored as a text into a number. Now the challenge here is that imagine this 127 was a number here but it was a text in our original data set. Now this time you notice the value doesn't help us because our data set has a problem, right? So our original data set has an issue and I somehow need to be able to fix it within my formula and I don't need to go back to the original data set and make a change. So let's see how we do this. This time we're going to use index and match. So we write index. My array is our entire data set. The row number, watch carefully, is going to be match. But I will not search for 140. I will search for value of G4. Again, when I have to select the lookup array, we will not choose the column like this, but we will enclose that within a value function. So I hope you're able to see what we're doing. We're essentially taking 140 and then converting it through a value function into a number. And we are doing the same thing with this entire column as well. Where is our result? So our result is sales, which is column number four. So we can simply come here and then write four. And as you can see, we are getting the result both for 162, which is a text here, and for 127, which is a number in our lookup value, but a text in our data set. So not a particularly long lecture, but still a very, very important one. And I would like you to get comfortable with this. See, this is mostly a standardized formula. So the first time you understand it, that's enough because there would not really be a lot of variation in it. The moment you understand why we need to have a value in both the lookup value and the lookup array, you will be able to replicate this in every other instance.